Bridge and Title Existence, please welcome Joe Bates. Thank you, Zendi. Right, existence. So I'm Joe Baines, and I am gonna. I've always been fascinated by existence. By what is this? What is this? What is this chair? What's what's the underlying structure of the universe? Do you know, that? I've, it's always fascinated me. And so a long time ago, I first started studying Einstein's theory relatively, which basically just says everything is energy. Uh, everything, all the chair. You, me, we're all energy, which is very compressed energy. And then I moved on to quantum physics. Quantum physics says, well, the underlying structure of what this energy is made out of is quarks and other things, like ups, downs, and conductive other things. Um, so, but the problem with quantum physics, it, it does answer a lot of questions, but it creates even more questions on top of that. So every question it answers, it creates another hundred questions. Because it's talking about things, because it's evaluating things which are outside of time and space, and it's looking at that, and they don't make sense because we are constrained, our minds are constrained by time and space, and so we cannot, uh, it's like an ant trying to learn to fly a helicopter, it just wouldn't work. Uh, we, we cannot get there uh, with, with our consciousness. Um, so then, then I found Tantra Yoga and Kashmir Shaivism. So I've been studying that for about five years, and that has a, a, a quite a leap from quantum physics. It says that in quantum physics, things are made out of quarks. But what, is, what uh, Eastern philosophy says is that the underlying structure of the entire existence, so all existence is, is consciousness. It's alive, it's self-aware, it's consciousness. And so existence itself is alive. And so what are we in this, in, this, uh, in this thing? And so we are like, so our universe is like a ripple in this vast ocean of consciousness. And so you and me are literally vibrations in this ripple. You know, there for a minuscule second. Well, there is, time doesn't exist there. Uh, existence exists in something called the here and now. So everything is here and everything is now. Because there is no past, there is no present. I mean, there is present, but there's no future. So everything just exists all the time. So what this means, there's no such thing as non-existence. So if you can imagine like a pink elephant, then it exists. And it's always existed. Do you know that? Like, there hasn't been a time when it didn't exist. So everything exists all the time, which is why, you know, the uh, Eckhart Tolle's The Power of Now is always talking about the now. Because in the now is all that matters, because that's the only thing that exists. Because there is isn't a past and a present and a future. Um, so, what the, so what does this mean for us? Because for me, what this, um, from each time I've, my perspective has changed about and how I relate to life, to, to the universe, to existence, and how I see it. It changes my perspective on life. It improves the quality of my life, improves how I interact with, with life, it improves how I relate uh, to the universe. And what this allows you to do, if you're a computer geek, you can think of existence or, or consciousness as, um, as a virtual reality simulator. And it, basically we are a simulation inside that virtual reality simulator. And this existence has always existed, and, and it's infinite. I don't know if anybody here has tried to imagine infinity. Uh, every time I try to encapsulate infinity, um, I get a divide by zero error in my head. If my brain just fails completely. Uh, it, it doesn't matter how many times I've tried it. Uh, it's, it's a little nice little experiment to do with yourself. Do you know, when, you know, when somebody asks, what do you do with your spare time? Well, I try to imagine infinity. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then I pass out. Um, but that's what would happen. Um, so from this, where I would go from this, is that, so, so what are we, so what is the purpose of life? What is the purpose of existence? So the purpose, our purpose, our life, because it's always existed, it will always exist, has no meaning. It has no purpose, purposes. Another way to look at it is, 
it, it's this universe and your life and my life is it's like a song or a dance um, or, uh, or or whether you're watching a movie it, it just exists as amusement for something for consciousness to do it's a way for consciousness to keep itself occupied well how long has it been doing this it's always done it it would always do it because existence consciousness just exists it can't do it cannot not exist so it has to do something with itself and so it has a dream well, one another way to look at it is that we are a dream inside this consciousness um, so what does this mean on top of that uh, it means that we have free will in this exist in this um, and that we don't have to worry about it because death is not the end death is just um, you know changing clothes you know it's just because we will keep coming back because we can't do anything else because there's nothing else for us to do we've always so you've always you've existed in fit for infinity well this is according to Keshmashai's Eastern philosophies um, and the, the next thing I want to take you from that is to karma I mean if you've heard of the word karma karma a way to translate karma into English um, means that um, you are 100% responsible for your actions and you are 100% responsible for your results. Uh, karma means you have free will, but with that free will comes consequences. If your choices and your actions are wise and good, then the consequences of those will be good. If they're not, then the consequences will be bad. It just means it gives us a lot of power in that, in how we live. Uh, what this has done for me is that it's allowed me to be more at ease with myself. I'm not worried about things. I'm not, you know, uh, taxes or anything like that. I'm not, you know, I'm not worried about life anymore. I, I, I just go and, and, and the meaning your life has, the meaning you give it. So if you think your life means X today, then X today. Thank you very much. Speech. I think you are going to unify physics and philosophy. We took on that over to independent subjects. So thank you for that. And now at the end of all the speeches, I'm going to call up our thank you for our no, call up. Just give you all a minute.